Welcome back to New Rock Stars. I'm Eric Voss, and Spider Man No Way Home is the most anticipated film of 2021, with fans caught in a perfect storm of studio blue balling and wishful speculation despite actor denials that they refused to believe after this guy made us all watch him play with himself. Phrasing intentional. Rumor has it that joining this confirmed cast of Tom Holland, Peter Parker, Benedict Cumberbatch, Doctor Strange, Alfred Molina, Doc Ock, and Jamie Foxx Electro could be Sinister Six leader Willem Dafoe, Norman Osborn, Green Goblin. Plus, alternate Peter Parker's Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield, and uh, why the hell not? The full cast of Knives Out, too. Whichever of these unconfirmed reports you believe, is there even room in this movie for someone like Willem Dafoe, Norman Osborn? Even Sam Raimi was like, Jesus Christ, we gotta lock this guy in a mirror. Avenge me! So I'm gonna break down all the evidence pointing to how Willem Dafoe Osborne could tie into No Way Home's convoluted plot and whether Sony's plan will leave us with some dirt in our eye. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. Sony recently announced that Aaron Taylor Johnson would be playing Spidey villain Craven the Hunter in a solo film. Now, Sony executive Sanford Panich claimed that there is a long game for how they're gonna fold Craven and Venom and Carnage and Morbius into the Tom Holland Spider-Man world, saying, quote, there actually is a plan. I think now maybe it's getting a little more clear for people where we're headed and I think when No Way Home comes out, even more will be revealed. And that comes right after Total Film published their synopsis for No Way Home reading, quote, Past Life Baddies Electro, Jamie Foxx, and Dr. Octopus, Alfred Molina, are rumored to return to a bigger, broader Spider-Verse that's now reeling from Peter Parker's recent unmasking. They use the term Spider-Verse, though rumored is really the key word, and some would say we're already in in a Spider-Verse. At least according to the whispers in my brain from that spider that crawled in my ear while I was sleeping. <laughs> the latest rumors are that Willem Dafoe, Norman Osborn, Green Goblin will lead a Sinister Six team, but that's still unconfirmed. We actually conducted an in-depth investigation of the timeline of these live-action Spider-Verse rumors, but here's a quick summary. Gonna go through these fast. J.K. Simmons came out in Far From Home as the J. Jonah Jameson of the MCU after he already played Jameson in the Sam Raimi films, though Simmons said Sony wanted the characters to be two different people. Kevin Feige said after the legal wrestling between Sony and Marvel was resolved, quote, Spider-Man also happens to be the only hero with the superpower to cross cinematic universes, so as Sony continues to develop their own Spideyverse, you never know what surprises the future might hold. Producer of Spider-Man and the Spider-Verse, Chris Miller, confirmed that they wanted cameos from Tom Holland, Tobey Maguire, and Andrew Garfield, but that Sony shot them down, saying it was, quote, too soon. Jamie Foxx was cast in No Way Home as Electro from the Mark Webb films, and then posted fan art showing three versions of Spider-Man together, and then to deleted it. <gasps> Doctor Strange was confirmed for this film right before Doctor Strange the Multiverse of Madness is going to come out. Movie directed by Sam Raimi, director of the Tobey Maguire trilogy, and Strange as the primary multiverse navigator of the MCU suggests the No Way Home plot could delve into something transdimensional. Alfred Molina was confirmed to return as Doc Ock, and then he later confirmed it will be the same version of the character from the Sam Raimi Spider-Man 2, taken from, quote, that moment of him drowning in the river. Sony Latin America posted and then removed a video with text translating to who is your favorite Spider-Man you don't have to choose in the Marvel multiverse anything can happen in Spider-Man 3 you will quite possibly see everyone yes the three Peter Parker saving the world together and many youtubers claimed Sony hit their channels with copyright strikes for resharing this footage Tobey Maguire was spotted in a wardrobe fit in LA despite some saying he has no known major gigs coming up but hey leave my boy alone a DoorDash driver in Atlanta claimed to have delivered food to Andrew Garfield who might have been in town to shoot no way home but then the driver took down those posts. Andrew Garfield's stunt double William Spencer post and then removed about being on set with Greg Townley, Tom Holland's stunt double, a Redditor who correctly predicted Julia Louis Dreyfus would cameo in the Falcon the Winter Soldier, but with an otherwise spot T record, claims a Toby and Andrew Spider Verse plot leak. Then what looks like crew merch for No Way Home comes out with a shirt showing Andrew Garfield version of the character, though some claim it was just taken from Google Images. But then also an official crew cup says save a planet instead of save the planet, which could tie into the title release videos tease of the alternate title Home Worlds being quote too boring. Sony and Disney come to an agreement to release future Spider-Man titles on Disney Plus, suggesting a stronger likelihood of sharing their IP. Andrew Garfield denied 
appearing in No Way Home on Josh Horowitz's Happy Sad Confused podcast, but many fans don't believe him, saying when he said, I didn't get a call, was him speaking in a kind of code, and that his long rant about the game Werewolf casts suspicion on him, though you could just as easily argue that any experienced player of Werewolf, which Garfield seems to be if he brought it up, would know not to talk this much if you really are the Werewolf. But before I continue, thanks to Bespoke Post for sponsoring this video. So Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering awesome boxes of top shelf goods from under the radar brands. Every month they introduce their members to cool new products like outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, clothing, and more, all based on a preference quiz that you fill out. And if you don't like the box they assign to you, you can swap it out for another one from their constantly changing collection of boxes. It's free to join and you can skip a month anytime. Every box has at least $70 in retail value, but it only costs 45 bucks. All right, so let's see. This month they send me the filet kit, the carnivore box. And you know what that means. Uh, hee, 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 hee. No, actually, I really need a good sharp knife like this, especially I'm chopping a lot of veggies now. Or since it's summertime months, I get to use my rooftop grill with some nice rib rub. Rub, rub, chop, chop, rub, chop, rub. Whereas this one is the trail kit. And hit those summertime trails. Whoa! Look at this, it's like a camping field box. I feel like I often need these. Let's see, what do we got in here? Uh, we got a book, Surviving the Great Outdoors. Some commando wire saw with some hand straps. One of these. And a sheath, which must mean uh, another ring, 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 ring. This is just for like, uh, you know, uh, cutting stuff to build a lean to. I'm not gonna murder people in the woods. Look, I spent many of my youth years working hard to become an Eagle Scout. Now it's finally time to put those skills to work and go out camping. So I can prove that I'm trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind of eating, cheerful, thirsty, brave, clean, irreverent. Uh, that's right, I wasn't kidding about eating an Eagle Scout. So yeah, to get 20% off of your first box, just go to bspk.me slash newrockstars20 or click the link in the description and enter the code newrockstars20 at checkout. And and really a never ending cycle of scoopers, rumored plot leaks on Reddit and 4chan and YouTube theories and just all of these things referencing each other so much that it starts to feel like certainty where no one trusts denials from Tom Holland or Andrew Garfield or Sony, especially in the wake of Marvel actors like Paul Bettany getting our hopes up for WandaVision. Get to work with an actor, it's gonna be a surprise for everybody. I I think a live action Spider-Verse is more or less confirmed based alone on Alfred Molina's interview and Jamie Foxx's Electro from the Mark Webb films and multiverse master Doctor Strange being in this plot. But it is still unclear what exactly they mean by Spider-Verse. If that Sony execs quote about this getting a little more clear for people where we're headed is referring to Alfred Molina's interview or referring to the far more imaginative multiverse cameo rumors. Sony's plan could be some complex multiverse logic, like for portals to open up and spit random live action cameos now in the MCU, similar to what we saw in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, or Sony's plan could be to follow what they seem to be doing with Jay and Jonah Jameson and suggest that these characters are just already part of the MCU history with similar backstories as what we saw before, but just with the new Spider-Man. But I gotta wonder why else cast Doctor Strange in this if not to explain complex multiverse logic? He snapped at Tony Stark in Avengers Infinity War saying that his mission was protecting your reality, douchebag as if there are other realities out there. And Peter Parker is super ready for a multiverse plot. I'm sorry, you're saying there's a multiverse? I mean, that completely changes how we understand the initial singularity. But we should also remind ourselves that we have yet to see this Peter's origin story, only that there was an Uncle Ben, and that the spider that bit Peter is dead, and that the bite happened six months before Civil War. And I would not be surprised if Sony still intended to connect that origin story to Oscorp, as was their plan in The Amazing Spider-Man 2, a movie that was not exactly fully scrapped considering they brought back a lot of those plot points in future movies. The biggest one now being Jamie Foxx Electro. And now in the MCU, based on the Oscorp looking text supplied by the power broker in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I would love for Norman Osborn to be one of Sharon Carter's arms dealers, or maybe the mystery buyer who was trying to get Hank Pym's tech in Ant-Man and the Wasp. But remember, a spider 
Spider-Verse does not automatically mean Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield will appear as well. It is totally possible for this No Way Home Spider-Verse event to apply only to past villains. Like maybe they're the ones with No Way Home after a multiversal crossover crisis. So while I selfishly want to see those two in this film, I will be not at all surprised if they don't appear. Whatever fan theories get confirmed or debunked, I have been burned by the hype train too many times to know to just be grateful for whatever comes. To support this channel, check out one of our great merch options at NewRockStarsMerch.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at EA Voss. Follow New Rock Stars. Subscribe to New Rock Stars for more analysis and breakdowns of everything Marvel. Thanks for watching. Bye.